These tips are not in any specific order, so please scroll through the chapters in the timeline below to find what you're looking for. And don't worry, I have potential spoilers marked as well. Let's get into it. The best thing to come from the 1.0 update is hands down the zipper. Once you acquire this bad boy, traveling across the yard is not only easy, it's cheap. This is due to only needing a single connection between two zipline posts to travel back and forth. To get the zipper, you will have to defeat the assistant manager. To find his location, you have to follow the story questline. Defeating this boss will give you the assistant manager keycard and that will unlock a door in Burgle's lab to obtain the zipper. Have fun zipping around. As you progress through the storyline, you will notice that resources can be difficult to locate and may not know where some of them are. This tip is helpful for any of the resources you have analyzed. You can find the surveyor inside every field station, but if it's not powered on, that means you have to activate it. Here's how. You will need the zipper to do this, however, you can build a way up to get this done without it. For this objective, we're heading to the blueberry bushes. Here is a better view to see where you're going. You may or may not have noticed a satellite dish sticking out of this bush, and that's where you need to go. To get there, head this direction towards the fountain. Continue past the fountain on its left side. Eventually, you will see a lab door that takes you above the yard. Make sure you are prepared for this journey. Bring lots of cooked food and have some decent armor and weapons with you. From here, you will see the base of the bush and you will need to climb the mushrooms to get to the top. When you make it to the branches, look around. You will see zip lines all over, but eventually you will find one that takes you to the other bushes. After a bit of parkour and just past the frisbee, you will find the satellite station. Step inside and flip the switch. From here on out, you can use the surveyor at every field station to locate resources. Want to know where all the gum spawns are? Search for the resource, the radar will sweep the map, and every red square you see is that resource. Mark the location and you and your friends can see the pin. Now, I am not telling you where to build your epic base. That decision is up to you. I am, however, strongly recommending that you build a platform high up in the tree. Here is a brief look at our tree station. As you can see, we are able to travel to any point in the yard from one central location, and this makes the difference in the quality of your playthrough. Here's how we did it. If you go to the base of the tree where it meets the light, you will find a branch that you can climb on. Next to that branch is a leaf, and thankfully you are allowed to build here. I recommend building a pitched clover roof because they are so cheap to make no matter how far you are in the game. Weed stem, clover, and sap is all you need. Once you're on top of the light, you can build clover roof all the way to the tree. Make sure you build enough flat cover roofs so that you can put down a zip line and you're all set. It's all up to you now to plan out where your zip lines go. If you didn't know already, there are candy pieces in Grounded, and they serve as a type of enchantment for your weapons and armor. Side note, pay attention to your insect cards so you can deal extra damage to their weaknesses. But a pretty cool side effect of enchanting your weapon is how it affects food. Weevils and aphids are an excellent food source, but you have to cook the raw meat over a spit. With a spicy weapon, killing either of these creatures will drop cooked meat instead. It is so nice that your food run time is cut in half. The icing on the cake is when you unlock refrigerators and fill those puppies up in less than five minutes. Let me know if you thought these were helpful and if I should do more of these in the future. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Good luck. I believe in you.